What's going on guys and welcome back to another episode of Club and Country. This is the fifth episode of the series and today we are returning with two more games with the Galaxy as we take on Swansea City back in the stuff up centre and then New York Red Bulls away from home. Super excited for that game. On the back of the last episode, it's about our first championship win, the 1-0 victory against Middlesbrough away from home and of course the victory over Colorado Rapids in the EFL Cup on penalties and hopefully we'll make one or two more signings today as well. Once again, I'll start today's episode by saying thank you for all the transfer suggestions in the comments section down below. You guys are my scouts right now. You give me so many suggestions, as you can see in the uh, Global Transfer Network right now. I've added loads of those to the scouting report, and uh, hopefully in today's episode, we'll pick up one or two more players uh, as well, because as we said yesterday, this squad needs to get thicker. It's uh, it's far too small right now. Regardless, uh, I think we'll jump into the first game today, not make any more signings straight away. Uh, it's Swansea City, and uh, yeah, let's make it two wins from two in the championship. Come on. And I think we'll stick with the 3-4-1-2 for the time being as well, on the back of back-to-back -back victory uh, obviously right now I'm, I'm liking the team we've got but again as I discussed a moment ago there this squad is just it's so thin it's so small and with 46 games in a championship season plus cup games as well that's that's not a lot of bodies so that's that's the biggest concern right now definitely squad depth so if we're not signing anyone today definitely in the next episode it might be a transfer special in the next episode we need new signings ASAP I haven't actually talked about expectations this season as Jameson is denied by a good save and Weyer keeps the chance alive and headed behind for a corner. I haven't talked much about expectations this season. Obviously, when we're starting off in a lower tier, my main goal pretty much every single career mode is to uh, get promoted in the first season. That shot goes way off target. But this year of LA Galaxy, with a small squad, our, uh, our first year in the CNC, I'm, I'm, I'm probably saying playoffs is what I'm going for. Not automatic promotion, but playoffs. Here comes Swansea, though. It's a nice movement. Ball finds Tom Carroll on the edge of the area, going for goal. An easy save for Stefan as it's because still nil-nil. Stefan, obviously, our ball biggest ball signing so far this season. Hands. Clean sheet against the Borough. I really hope this season he can be Looking safe as houses between the sticks because I, I, I don't trust my defense against the ultimate difficulty. I'm absolutely rubbish in, uh, in this year's FIFA at the moment. Stefan's going to need to bail me out a lot of times this year as Wilfred Bonny is sent down left and the Ivorian looks for space to cut inside. In goes the cross. And right on cue, Stefan, I don't know what he's doing there. But eventually, Ottawa hits the woodwork. It's cleared away, and it's still nil-nil. What was that? Jesus, that gave me a heart attack there. But here's Ariola on the ball. Into Weya. Oh, it's a brilliant block. Game sparking into life now. And that header. Oh, deflection goes in. And we've got ourselves to go 39 minutes in. There's no way Trusty's claiming that. If he does, it'll be his first goal in an LA Galaxy shirt. We've taken it and gone in front. And I said this on Twitter yesterday. I find goals from corners a lot easier to score than in last year's FIFA. They're my main source of goals at the moment, I think. Whip ball into the center. Trusty goes up for it and wins it in the air. Takes a huge deflection off Olsen. Surely that's an own goal. And it is indeed. Olsen's own goal. We'll take it. 1-0 to Galaxy. Get in. Here comes Swansea though. Nice little move inside. Narsing. Oh, he's just done me. He's absolutely done me. 1-1. One, one. Swansea back on level terms. What a lovely goal. And that's what I meant about my defending as well. This is why Steph then needs to be on his game to bail me out. I am atrocious this year at defending. Keep that in play. Well done. Nice little header by Reggie. And uh, Jameson. Oh, I'm loving this kid. Jameson down the right-hand side. Should beat Van der Horn for pace. Now can he pick a cross into the far post? And it will drop to Roldan. And his shot goes just wide. 20 minutes to go. Still tied at 1-1. I'd definitely take this point if we could hold on to it in the final few stages of the game. But as Trusty releases Ariola, there might be a chance to win it here. Ariola on the ball. Feeds it through to Adams. Jameson. Oh, that's a brilliant tackle. Narsing down the right-hand side. Beats Ariola. Whips it in. Asoro. Stefan with a save. We've looked good from set pieces. Here we go again. Roll down his delivery. Yes, and headed home, and LA Galaxy have done it again, the corner specialist headed into the back of it, and the Galaxy for the second game in a row might win a championship match through a corner. Three of our four goals have come from corners. They are so OP in this year's FIFA. Ball to the near post. It's a brilliant header. Past the goalkeeper and into the back of the net. And the Galaxy make it 2-1. Pontius off the bench with his first touch, I think. Puts us in front. Can we hold on? No, 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 no. Oh, the crossbar. We're waiting for the final whistle to come any second now. And there it is. Our first win in Los Angeles this season. It's three wins on the trot in all competitions. Four of our six goals this year have come from dead ball situations, but we don't mind one bit. We'll just set these specialists. Two on the final score. We leave it late again, but get the three points. Come on. I thought it was quite a balanced game. Both teams played well. We took our chances, hence why we get the win. 
And I'm going to give man a match to Christian Roldan, the captain for the Galaxy right now. His corners are like David Villas in my St. Pauli save. Anyone remember that in FIFA 17? He is looking so good from set pieces. Oh, I'm delighted, man. I'm buzzing. Three wins on the trot. For those that didn't watch the save, basically we had David Villa in a St. Pauli career mode and every time we had a corner he'd take it and nine times out of ten would find a teammate to create a good goal scoring opportunity. He's, he's brilliant. He was brilliant in that save and uh, and Roldan is, is looking just as threatening. Now a bit here from Darmstadt for uh, Daniel Steres at 610 grand. I'm not against selling Steres because uh, we've got so many centre-backs here already. We're in the process of selling our Elano right now and because our squad is so thin right now, even if we've got a lot of centre-backs here, we just need enough players here. So we'd have to reject it for now, and uh, Steros will stay. And before the New York Red Bulls game, we should see if Arellano is gone, and we do indeed. He has indeed been sold for £210,000, so that's a, another player gone. He's American, but his overall is put, uh, too poor, really, and uh, was, was not going to get much game time this season. Uh, also a bit here for Romney as well, and, and right now you can see that Steros is on the transfer list right now. Uh, Romney isn't. I want to keep him as a fourth-choice centre-half. But uh, it's, it's a bit of a concern that like, most of our squad is in the defensive areas. We don't really have that many attacking pieces on the bench and uh, in the reses as well. Most of our squad players are defence-minded players. So I think for the New York Red Bulls game, we'll try and make one more sign-in and uh, bring someone else in. And one of those players that I saw commented in the first couple episodes was Hadji Wright, uh, a striker right now playing for Schalke. Uh, who I believe is actually on the loan list right now. We want to try and pick him up permanently. He's only 20 years old. He's 64 rated. But one of the reasons I'm quite drawn to this guy is the fact he's six foot four with a four-star weak foot. He could be a really good target man because right now our strikers are pacey. They're quick. We haven't got a target man with strength. And had you right, he could be that target man at uh, 64 rated, but a six foot four already with good strength as well. So right, let's let's try and bring him in. We'll just tried swapping them. Felcher, uh, one of our two foreign players remaining, which Schalke weren't having it. So we'll put in a valuation bid instead of 775,000 pounds. And again, these cheap deals is just what's right for LA Galaxy right now. And they're saying no, an extra five grand with 2% selling clause, and that's totally fine with me. Is that really worth it? Fair enough. These cheap deals are what's perfect for LA Galaxy right now. Bringing in these players that won't cost much or on the salary either, but adding squad depth to the team and wants to watch for the future. These are the sort of deals we need to keep on doing. So we've agreed on three components in the contract so far. Uh, rotation squad roll, four-year deal, and no release clause. And now as we talk about the money, what we're going to offer Hadji right is his base salary right now, uh, 4.5 grand a week. I, said, I saw someone in the last episode saying stop offering 100 grand for a sign-on bonus for all your new signers because a lot of times they won't, they won't be asking for that. But at the moment, that's the sort of the go-to that's working. And I don't like when negotiations fall through because you've got to wait a week before you can go back in for them. But I'll, I'll, I'll take that comment on board and we'll duck down the sign-on bonus to 60 grand instead. And uh, hopefully this won't backfire. And uh, nope, in the end, that comment was right. We didn't need to offer 100 grand. 60, uh, 60 grand was fine. And uh, he wants a bit of a wage increase to four, uh, sorry, wage decrease of 4.4. Wow, he wants a wage decrease. But I'll uh, remove the gold bonus and hopefully he'll accept that deal. And nope, now he wants a wage increase to 4.6k. But I'll take that. Again, these are the signings we want right now. Cheap deals for young talents that won't cost us much, won't break the bank, and add squad depth to the team and wants to watch for the future. Another one in, had you right signs, perfect. And just before that New York Red Bulls game as well, uh, I'm going to try and make one more signing to the team too. And uh, you guys know I love my ball playing centre backs and my dressing room leaders. And you might have noticed him on the shortlist, Tim Howard. I saw a comment way back in episode number one from saying, get Tim Howard in as a dressing room leader. That's a brilliant suggestion. We played against him in the Colorado Rapids EFL Cup game. He saved a penalty against Akinola. And I would love to have this guy in as a leadership uh, leader. He's got the leadership trait. He's got the GK long throw trait. I love that as well. And at 39 years old, I think he holds a record for most saves in a single World Cup game as well with America back in 2014. And I'd love to have this guy as our bench goalkeeper. So Tim Howard, I, I want him in as my leader this year. Obviously, we've got three goalkeepers here, but it would just be nice to have Howard in as well. And uh, we'll try and give Colorado Rapids Von Stieg, who, quite frankly, is way too poor to be anything good in this team. And uh, Colorado Rapids say that's fine, as long as he gives 145 grand as well. And that's totally fine with me, because that will actually be just a little bit over his valuation in total. But it'll be a dressing room leader in, and at 73 rated, a safe pair of hands on the bench. The GK long throw trait is what I absolutely love. I'll take that. I want this guy in. Of course, Tim Howard uh, played multiple years at Everton at Goodison Park. Before that, played for Manchester United. And uh, of course, he was the, uh, the infamous goalkeeper 
that uh, made the error during the Porto game uh, where he parried a free kick and Costinha turned it in and of course Mourinho did his touchline uh, run. Uh, I, I remember that game actually really well. I watched that as a youngster and uh, I, I always thought Howard was quite a crucially underrated uh, goalkeeper though and was quite often, you know, just, just slated a little bit too much really because Howard is a very good shot stopper. You know, a very, very good shot stopper. And uh, again, as a dressing room leader, this is the sort of guy we want in our team for the first couple of years of LA Galaxy. So he's agreed to a two year deal, crucial squad role. He won't be a crucial squad player, but we don't care about Lions when we're 39 years old. We'll accept their no release clause as well. And as for the salary, 7.7K a week for a safe pair of hands on the bench is not that bad. Now I'll remove the clean sheet bonus. We'll offer that sign a most of 47.5K plus a 7.7K salary. And he wants a wage increase of 500 quid a week extra, but that's totally fine with me. Tim Howard in for his final two years for LA Galaxy, leading this young team as a dressing room leader. He's got the leadership trait, and that's exactly what we're looking for. And Tim Howard, safe pair of hands on the bench. I like that signing a lot. Basically, no money spent, but a good, solid backup goalkeeper. I'll take that. However, both Tim Howard and Wright will be on the subs bench for our second and final game on today's episode as we take on New York Red Bulls away from home as we go in search of our fourth straight win in all competitions to preserve the undefeated streak. And a win in this game will take us into the top two from our first four games. So let's go get it. Keep the good start going. Come on, LA Galaxy. I'm absolutely loving this save already and I hope you guys are enjoying it too. It is so, so enjoyable as New York Red Bulls hit the post early there because the, the challenge is greater this year. I really struggle against the old difficulty with the AI and and uh, of course, the challenge is more unique than ever before with the MLS teams in the championship too. As New York Red Bulls go in front and right on cue, that sums it up. My defending on Ultimate Difficulty is going to make this series so enjoyable but challenging because I really struggle. There were times in the previous FIFAs where it was just so easy to defend against the AI, but no longer on Ultimate Difficulty. You've got to be on your game. You've got to react quickly, otherwise they'll punish you. There's been like five or six goals already in my two series where me not reacting quickly enough has resulted in a goal for my opponents. And, and that's what I mean. You've got to be on your game against Ultimate Difficulty AI. It's so much tougher than Legendary. 32 minutes in, I cannot get a ball off the New York Red Bulls. They're we passing us. Oh, well, right, okay, we get it back. <laughs> As uh, Ariola feeds it through to Tyler Adams. We get to get, uh, get going ourselves, though. We need a chance out of somewhere. And as Cannon gets his skates on down the right-hand side, he'll step in field. Oh, what a ball! And Jameson denied by a fabulous save. Cannon, Roldan, and Roldan, and Kitchen. Oh, it's another brilliant save. I don't know how many more chances we'll get today like that, but those two opportunities should have found the back of the net. Brilliant saves by the goalkeeper, but uh, either way, we've got to finish those. Chance here, though, Jameson releasing Cannon down the right hand side. We know Reggie's got the pace. James is getting into the area as well. It's Reggie. It's still Reggie. It's Jameson. Oh, I tried to pull the trigger. He just didn't want to shoot. I pressed circle. He just didn't want to shoot. Off the pole. He's scrambling in. Yes, get in. Turned in. It was that Weyer who turns it in. And LA Galaxy get the equalizing goal. It's the president. Someone in the last episode said you got to call in the president this year. Weyer, the president of George, the president of Liberia, makes it 1 1. And we get our deserved breakthrough. The header off the Post hits the goalkeeper and way up. Oh, yes, wanted it more than the keeper. Scrounges it on the line. 1 1, get in. It was a great end to that first half there. We really had the bit between our teeth, but second half to come. I do see a winner in this game, but it could go either way right now. Red Bull's down the right and side with space to cross. In it goes. Header from range, saved by Stefan. So that's how the game's going to finish there. And it was an action packed first half. Not much to report in the second. Oh, careful, 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 there we go, and uh, a 1-1 one -one draw, it's not a bad result, it's not a bad result, I'll take that, and uh, a draw preserves that undefeated start, so 1-1, one -one, battle back to get the point, and I'll definitely take that. Pretty much all of the chances in this game came in the first half, both teams played well, and I think the draw was the right result in fairness. And I'll give man the match to Sean Davis as well. 100% passing, 30 completed passes in the entire game. Couldn't get it off him. And I think we'll end today's episode there as well, guys. So a big thank you for watching. Really hope you have enjoyed today's episode of CNC. And if you did, then please do drop a like. Uh, we shall return in the next episode in the automatic promotion places with two more games and hopefully a few more signings as well. You guys keep on giving me those transfer suggestions. The window is not shut yet and we still need to make this squad thicker. So in the next episode, we'll go after some new targets and hopefully bring some more players in into LA Galaxy as well. So thanks for watching guys. Have an awesome evening. Much love to you all and I'll see you for the next episode very soon.